All right, so what we're doing here is we have a 1999 Porsche 911 Carrera. Has a fault for the Bank 2 camshaft actuator. Uh, I've already done a little bit to open this up so we can see some of the wiring. This is the connector for it. This car previously had a camshaft actuator replaced because it was leaking and we can see right there there's lots of oil from where it was leaking internally. I've already verified at the DME that there's no oil that migrated all the way through. And I've started here with my, my uh, terminals and my pins. So the DME pin 25 is a gram brown wire, goes to the cam solenoid pin two. And we also have a red and blue wires, pin one to the cam actuator that goes to a splice. It's also red and blue, but um, I have no other faults. So the first thing I'll be checking here is the uh, red and blue wire that goes also to the mass airflow pin two. My thought process here is if I have no fault for the mass airflow sensor and I have continuity from pin one of the cam actuator to pin two of the mass airflow sensor, then theoretically my wiring should be okay. So we're gonna start with that. So here's our mass airflow connector. And we're gonna go ahead and open this little connector up. Actually, we're not. We're just gonna go ahead and go from from this side. You know, I might go ahead and open it anyway, because I'd like to see the wire color and verify that it's actually what it's supposed to be. So, go ahead and pop this cover off. And there we go. Okay, so back to this. Um, there is our pin two. So we're going to check from here and we're gonna go beside the terminal, not in the middle of it. I don't wanna spread out the pins over to this red and blue wire here. Now this one, I can't really get into, so we're gonna use something from this little Amazon kit that I bought and uh, use it to probe the terminal so I really don't want to spread out a pin and cause connection problems. So we're going to start with one of these and slide it into the terminal there. Put this here and we're going to put this one right there. Set our meter to ohms. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And uh, 0.9 ohms. So this should be okay. So the next step will be to check from the other terminal to the DME. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one in here. And we're gonna grab a jumper wire and go from the DME back to here. No, 
I have a nice fuse jumper and some little wires to be able to probe that uh, DME connector. So I'll get that in there. Oh, hooks. Sorry, oh, yeah. Your, uh, here. All right, so the terminal's hooked up in there. So we might have a bit of a high resistance issue looking at the way this is. But no.
Okay, so this is a five volt reference wire, so we should switch this back to voltage. And then we're going to take our black lead. And just kind of put it on a ground right to the engine there. And we only have some, some millivolts. So we're gonna look at this other connector and see if it's doing kind of the same thing. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. But right now the BME is still disconnected. So I'm gonna plug that back in and then retest. So our BME is plugged back in. We still have our ground. And we have 12 volts. So sometimes looking at some of your wiring diagrams, it can be uh, incorrect, especially when you're looking at like all data or Mitchell. 12 volts. So after going through this and we've already verified that the cam actuator is good and that the wiring tests out okay, that there's likely a problem inside the, uh, the module itself. So that is going through some diagnostic steps of testing wiring to the BME. Uh, I'll show you the BME so you can see where it's at. So on this car, the, the DME sits right back here behind the seat and this panel here underneath the carpet. Now, in order for me to 100% verify that's what's going on, I'm gonna have to do a few more tests and see exactly that the uh, the DME is sending a signal and that it's not doing anything. So I'll do that next. 